G'day everybody, Uncle Jojo here. Last night I was down at the pub and uh, there were these two lovely lasses sitting by the bar. Uh, I've walked up to them, they had a bit of a strange accent, so I walked up to them and I've gone, G'day ladies, you guys from Scotland. Uh, one of them turns around and goes, it's Wales. And I've gone, oh, sorry, are you two whales from Scotland? <laughs> That's how I ended up with the black eye. Anyway, today what we're doing on Bowwolf Builders is we're going through an existing floor plan and what we're going to create with the future uses of the home. I've drawn up four different sketches. Um, we're just going to go through what's existing and the final one for today. Um, just so you know uh, what's gone through how we've gone about planning it, and how we're gonna move forward from here. So, step over this way, and I'll take you through all of this. Here, what we've got, here what we've got is the existing floor plan. Uh, down on this left-hand side, which is the west face, uh, we've got an existing brick wall, which is right against the boundary. From here, um, we've got an old chimney, the old kitchen chimney, and then we've got an old laundry here. There's too many walls in this back area. There's no cross air ventilation. There's no insulation in any of these walls. Uh, we've got a bit of a rising damp issue along this boundary wall. Uh, chimney and chimney. These two chimneys are stuffed. There's no foundations in them at all. So what we're going to do is get rid of those chimneys. Um, but what we want to do is utilize the space that we've got the best that we can. The block itself isn't very big. So we want to make sure that we've got everything that we need to on that plan and on that uh, floor set out. So here, what we've desi designed, sorry, let me just go that way so you can see it's like for like. So exactly the same basic at the front section. Uh, the bedrooms are staying where they are. Um, the doorways are basically staying where they are. That way we're utilizing what we've already got on site. But what we're going to do instead is we're gonna utilize where we pulled the chimney down and we're gonna create a cupboard, a walk-in cupboard on both sides with this space. When we rip down a chimney, uh, there's a lot of space in the house that we can use. So what we wanna do is utilize that um, to create something in these two bedrooms that doesn't make them too busy, hence the cupboards. Also what we've done is by opening this front door the way that we have, we've got these two bedrooms here. Those bedroom doors opening the way they do allows this wind to come in through the windows or the front door and get some good air circulation through here. Coming back towards the house, um, the back of the house, we've got the bathroom and we've got a light well section. The kitchen coming around, laundry at the back separated and a living room area. This over here is where the other chimney is. So what we're going to do is utilize what beams and stuff we've already got in this wall and we're just going to put some French doors in there. Laundry area is going to stay the same. We've already got the plumbing and everything in there so no need to double tag it. Here what we're going to do is just extend this wall out slightly, put a servery window through here so it brings the inside to the outside um, and then also utilize this window and this door to allow breeze to come up during the winter and bring that warm air from the north through the house and in the winter in the summer we can get the wind to come from the front door in these front two bedrooms to through the front of the through the back of the house and clean that old um, hot air out uh, cross air ventilation it's the cheapest air condition you can get and by far the best especially for growing mines uh, when you've got kids you want clean air so here what we've done is put a light well in on the boundary side um, Light wells can also be called an air shaft. What it does is it helps new air or light get into places of the entire building that would usually not get any light whatsoever. You could put a skylight in the middle just over here, but you can utilize a light well to then go into three areas. If I put a skylight in, it would just be in the one area. So by putting this light well in, I can get clean air into the kitchen. I can put a doorway in here, and then if we put a garden space in there, we can actually go in there and get our herbs for our kitchen. And then we've got a window here, which will actually help the um, air circulation throughout the bathroom, and also get rid of any of that musty, uh, any of that musty air or the steam from in that bathroom as well. Um, all in all, that's basically the design that the owners and I have finalised. So what we're going to do now with that is we're going to forward that over to the town planning. Uh, anything that we do on the external walls of a house, 
um, we have to make sure that we go to town planning. So the chimneys that get pulled down, the windows that we change, anything like that, we make sure that we have to go to town planning. Uh, get the permission from councils and then we can take it from there to um, get our building permits done, uh, insurances and all of that stuff. If you've got any questions about this, please forward them over via email and I'll try and get to them as quickly as I can. Till then, stay awesome and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.